Welcome back to No Shit MMA on ThatChannel.com, sponsored by Extreme Couture Toronto. We're here at the MMA Expo with Matt Hamill, the Hammer Hamill. How you doing, big guy? Oh, I'm doing great. You know, thank you for having me on here, because it's really awesome. All the Canon people are very friendly, and I'm just having a great time. That's cool. We're doing our best to not be friendly, just to sort of be outside of the norm, because Canadians are, like, usually way too friendly. So, uh, but, uh, but we'll see if we can rough you up in the interview a little bit and see how that goes, okay? Oh, oh, absolutely, because this is really uh, overwhelmed, you know. I'm just really, um, oh, I mean, really a shine, and then I just, oh, these people just make my day. Cool. You know, so I'm just having a great time again. Hey, uh, Matt, you got a movie coming out uh, this fall, is that right? Yeah, yeah, I do. I got um, Brandon Vera, you know, the, the August 29th. August 20th with August Brandon 29th. Vera? It's in uh, UFC 102. Oh, uh, uh, but a movie. There's a yeah, movie about your yeah, life. Yeah, uh, it's in uh, October. Cool. Yeah, it, 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 um, it's the life of Hamill. It's about the early life, how I became successful, how I talk, and, and how I became far from fighting in the wrestling, you know, so it's basically it's really strongly all your life, so it could be a great movie. Uh, was it, uh, what was the experience like making the movie? Um, the experience about um, it's the life from, from the, um, it's like um, from the early life yeah. to, to a college life, yeah. but the, but it could be an awesome experience when you watch it because you will never see another handicap really successful or something. I have this inspiration many deaf people, even in the handicap around the world. Yeah. So I gave them a hope and I gave them a dream. You know, so I have no magic word. All I can say is don't give up until you get there. So Matt, is it a documentary or do they have actors playing you when you were like younger? It's documentary. a complete documentary style? Yeah, yeah my trial all oh, Similar to Toronto, you know. Yeah. But the Montreal and Canada, whatever I touch in the canyon, all these people will come up to me, yeah. you know. So this is a really awesome feeling. Cool. You know, so that's why I'm here. Very cool, uh, very cool. Yeah. So uh, you're fighting Brandon Vera? Yeah. Wow. And uh, how do you prepare for Brandon Vera? He fought in Ohio on yeah. the same card as you, yeah. and he used the leg kicks yeah. to yeah. just rip that guy down. Yeah. How do you prepare for that? Well, I, I, have, I have been working on my defense a lot, you know. He got a nasty kick, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm aware of that. And, um, but we have to review the game plan, but I'm gonna have a pressure on him, you know. I have a lot of power, you know. I know he has more experience than I do, but you have to think for one thing, I have a heart. Yeah. It's all about heart. You know, I just go after him. I don't care if he's bleeding or broken bone. It's all the only way to uh, stop me, my body and my soul. Yeah. I just go after him, all I got. So I'd love to be on a dog. Yeah. And give me more motivation. And Matt, when uh, uh, a while ago, Brandon Vera was doing really well, yes. then he lost a couple of fights, and it yeah. seemed... He said when he was on Inside MMA, yes. he said that he kind of partied too much and lost right. his focus. Right. Then he said he was rededicated himself. And then in that fight in Ohio, when yes. he was on the yes. same card as you, yes. he kind of destroyed that guy. And he looked like the old Brandon Vera. Oh, oh, you know, yeah. Really, yeah. really back up to speed. So, right. so when you've got a guy that you're going to face and he's so motivated to fight you yeah. and to yeah. really take you down and he yeah. like he's dying to get up to get a title right. fight, what is your, you know, do you change your strategy or do you go, I'm going to be like, you know, that much more dedicated? What, what how does that affect you? Okay, because, look, first, first of all, Brandon Farron, I mean, he's been fighting and uh, sometimes he's good, sometimes he's bad. Yeah. But don't, right. don't underestimate him right. because he's been cutting a lot of weight in 205. And right now, he's more comfortable in 205. Yeah. He has all the energy, he has um, all the strength and everything he's good ready. And um, yeah, yeah, the leg fighting. Uh, I got uh, my my pen, ah. yeah. Then yeah. he got oh, he just stopped stopping from a lot of kicks. Yeah. But my my uh, weapon is a ground and pound, yeah. you yeah. know. But uh, he just called out UFC. He just want to fight me because of Mark Muno, the both of Filipino. Yeah, he's more than welcome. You know, yeah. I'd be happy yeah. to fight him. Cool, cool. Yeah. Uh, and uh, so. Uh, after this, you go back and just get to training for that fight? Do you do any more traveling in the next little while? Uh, I do have a travel for a uh, definition. I have about, I don't know, about 30, 40,000 people are waiting for me. I'm going to Puerto Rico. Oh, cool. Yeah, next week. Oh, cool. and, and, then, and then my last, my last day for uh, travel is uh, June, June 27th. Yeah. And, and then, then after that, we start training. Cool. Well, good luck, Matt. Good yeah, luck. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Thank yeah, you. Thanks so much for being on the show. We really, really appreciate it. Yeah, and good okay. luck with your fight yeah. against oh, Brandon thank Vera. Thank uh, we you. hope you win. Yeah. Sure, sure. Thanks so much, pal. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> well, good, well, good. Thanks, pal. Thanks, yeah, thank man. You. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, man.